And our operators in the Nigeria's real estate sector are asking the government to initiate policies that can help scale up the industry for growth. In a recent brainstorming session held in Lagos, key stakeholders from the real estate sector came together to discuss challenges and opportunities facing the industry. Details in this report. The Nigerian real estate sector is at a crucial juncture and the call for an enabling climate for investment could not be more timely. To address these issues effectively, collaboration among stakeholders is seen as crucial as ever. That's why these operators are partnering to unlock finance opportunities that will help in bridging the investment gap. How do we want to unlock um, Nigerian real estate growth with innovative finance? Number one is we want to talk about it, having conversation, regular conversation about the subject. Number two, was, we're, we're trying to put collaboration together. How can we come together and do this thing? Together we can do so much, you know, compared to trying to go solo. We've seen the power of diaspora financing and by, by, by putting together solid uh, funding or mechanisms that diaspora Nigerians can invest in uh, or vehicles that they can invest in, and that can also help fund a lot of real estate projects. So there are a number of ways. So either you're funding from a project point of view or you're funding from the demand side. According to the industry expert, one of the major challenges facing the sector is the need for a conducive environment that fosters investment and unlocks the potential hidden within the sector. The operators argue that by addressing these challenges, the real estate industry can play a vital role in driving economic growth and providing housing solutions for the Nigerian populace. It does make sense for government not to ignore the sector and in fact be uh, interested in developing as much as possible home ownership uh, because that's even helps for social cohesion. Uh, if you own a home, you are more likely to be interested in the environment, you are more likely to be interested in how the uh, location develops and, and so on. You pay tax and you are more engaged in the community. In all the developed world, you put the infrastructures there, everything is there before you even tell people to go and start building over there. Places you have the train track already there, you have buses already going there, the road, the lights, before the um, buildings start going up. But in Nigeria, the building goes up first before the infrastructure that coming in there. So that's where we want the government to be able to um, assist the real estate people. Looking ahead, the real estate sector in Nigeria appears poised for transformation. With operators and the government working together, the future seems promising.